Hello, I'm Ben, and this is Wine. This is the Ben and Wine headquarters, my lounge room. Um, today we're going to be looking at Pizzini Sangiovese from the 2005 vintage. Now, Sangiovese is the workhorse grape of Chianti. I'm sure you've all heard of, if not seen, Chianti in the little Ratafia wrap um, bottles of wine that are usually crap. Um, this, and I don't think I'm speaking out of turn when I say that Pizzini Sangiovese is probably, if not the most uh, highly respected and the best example of Sangiovese that you can see um, when you're making it in an Australian climate. Um, they were ravaged by fire and, and all kinds of bad things this year, um, frost as well. So if you can get your hands on some old vintage of Sangiovese, given that it might be in short supply in the near future, do so. Um, Sangiovese's key sort of tasting notes would be sort of black cherry and quite a low tannin profile. What that means is you're kind of getting the tannins just build up right in the edges of your cheeks. So a nice colour. It's it's quite brilliant actually. It's quite clear to look through it. I'm not sure if you can pick any of that up. Um, quite a soft nose. Like there's not a lot jumping out of the glass. You could say that it's quite closed. It's got a creaminess to it. Picking up some sort of herbal notes. Um, In the mouth, it's, it's very fresh. There's some lovely red fruits, but then you get that really, really fine sort of tannin structure. Um, Sangiovese is one of those things where you kind of, to say that it's a food wine is, is not good in my opinion, because there are some wines that just deserve to be had with food. This is one of them. It's definitely designed for the table, and that'll sort of just help. The more meat you get in your mouth or, or anything where the tannins can attach to it instead of the side of your cheeks, um, the better. But the tannins in this wine will help it age really, really well. Um, that fruit will start to break down and start to give a lot more complexity. Um, it's a very good wine, it's got really nice balance, it's got beautiful tannin structure. Um, I'd like to see it with a bit more complexity, probably a th three or four years, maybe not even that much. Maybe two years down the track, it'll be showing some more earth and some more sort of meaty, funky sort of flavours. It's very clean, um, it's very fresh. It's great for just sort of simple barbecue. You get something roasted, you get some antipasto, get some something with a bit of meat, a little bit of fat in your mouth. I think it'll be perfect. Very savoury uh, and a beautiful little wine. I think this one around about twenty-seven dollars in your local bottle shop, and you should be able to get um, get hold of it. If you can't, however, you can log on to www.benamwine.com and we'll sort you out. Cheers. <laughs>